we're hoping this will be able to be implemented across the state, across the country, because it, it really does fit the need that we had. My name is Benji Philpot. I am a district construction materials engineer in the Southeast District. We constructed the mini roundabouts from June to July of 2023, and they opened up right at the beginning of August of 2023. We started out with a simple deck replacement. Um, as we were working through the deck replacement, uh, putting the plans together, a semi went through and hit the superstructure of the bridge. So what became, went from a simple deck replacement that became a super and a uh, deck replacement. Uh, when we built the superstructure, we wanted to raise it up um, about a foot and a half because it had a low clearance of 15 foot over the interstate. Um, and with this uh, bridge raise, it created a couple of unique situations that we had. One, we were able to uh, build some clearance underneath the bridge to allow people to travel underneath safely. But uh, the ramps that were connected to the top of the bridge created an issue with sight distance. Uh, we were a little bit concerned with people coming off the ramps looking to the left across the bridge. The idea that really came to the forefront was uh, building many roundabouts on either end. That way when people were coming off of Route B, um, it would slow them down. It would help with the flow of traffic off the ramps across Route B, but would really slow the traffic down and, and that way everybody could see everybody. The biggest benefit that we saw was the sight distance issue that we're having coming off the ramps um, and people speeding across the bridge. People have really slowed down because you have to slow down to, to navigate the many roundabouts and the people coming off the ramps are able to see those people because they're not traveling so fast. Also, we were we designed these with uh, agriculture and semi tr trucks in mind. So we built these with um, mountable curbs so the semis and the tractors just drive over the top of it and they still have to slow down but uh, but they can navigate the many roundabouts. One of the biggest challenges we had was using the amount of space that was available on the top because there wasn't a whole lot of, of ground up on top that we could do things. Um, one of the things that we had to look at was do we move the ramps out away? Um, that was about a five to six million dollar cost versus building the many roundabouts. So using innovations and, and just really trial and error through the design phase, we were able to get the many roundabouts to fit in the area that was um, that was available. Most of the time you put in roundabouts um, where you're trying to relieve congestion. There was really no congestion here. It was more of a speed issue. And that was what was unique about this design is it was really, it does help with that traffic flow, but it was really just to calm traffic and to get people through um, the area quicker. The, the easy solution in a case like this, when you need more sight distance, is to just say, let's move back the entrances. But when you get collaboration with a team and you start looking at other solutions of, hey, how can we reduce that sight distance? That's where Tismo really played in here to find a strategy that we could slow traffic down instead of spending $5 million to move ramps farther out. I always get excited when I see solutions with multiple departments collaborating together, coming up with a good idea. This, this is a really good case of that.